Gearhart built in 1890 and the building's been standing here since then. It was actually built from timber milled across the street here in town. We call it now the Neococcia Creek Barn and we're preserving it for great celebration events including food, music, lectures, um, educational opportunities, classes, all sorts of things like that as well as just the kind of place in Gearhart to get together as a community and celebrate which is what your heart's kind of been about for most of its history. Anyway, it was built here from the original lumber and we had at one point 50 some horses on site that would service in the hotel and be buggies and, and transportation for the town's folks. It's great to do a Kickstarter campaign because it gives us a way to support its future. Uh, we want to do the additional work we need to put in um, our additional structural improvements ADA, we want to put some boardwalks in like they did in the old days of Gearhart and really bring it back to its original look and feel so it's a great place to gather for all. We hope you can contribute whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, we just want to make sure it stays here for the next 120 years and that we all can continue to enjoy its special ambiance and the authentic character that it brings us. Thank you so much. I really hope you'll help. Thanks. Who owned it? Well, I think that the Nickel Riding Academy owned it, but, but it had been owned by the same people, I believe, that owned the Girard Hotel, because they kept uh, their horses here that uh, originally ran their uh, vehicle that met the trains and took them to the hotel. Well, I would say it's built around the turn of the century of 1900 or 1903, somewhere along in there, I think. Well, they used to uh, bring in a string of saddle horses from Portland, Garden Home, in the summertime, and I uh, kept them in here. And the whole bunch would go up on the beach for a ride twice a day mm -hmm. from, with all the people from Gin Ridge. They'd go up on the beach and ride up on the beach and come back. And then in the back here was a uh, corral or a ring, outdoor arena, mm -hmm. and sheds out there for extra horses. The kids learned how to ride out there to music and uh, records they played there. Loud speaker, I guess. Wow. Yeah, well, I had a job over there in the, uh, for the Gearhart Fuel Company, and uh, when and I think it was 1939, they needed somebody to take the show string to state fair. And so they hired me to go along as a groom. I went to the state fair and then I started working for them in Portland and here both after that. I was still in school, high school then. Well, I had horses uh, here and in Portland too, from grade school age on. I generally got, earned a little money and bought one. Mm -hmm. It was a th thing to uh, uh, be involved with horses. Mm 
Well, you know, they're going to have to figure out a way to preserve this building with a, and make it a historical building, not a modern building. Mm -hmm. yep. it's, it's modern enough right now. It doesn't need any more of that, mm -hmm. <laughs> I think. It is the oldest building in town. Mm -hmm. My house was built in 1908, so it's close. Mm -hmm. I think this was built before then. Okay. 1890, they yeah. say. Yeah. Okay. How'd you get Poncho, the donkey? <laughs> <laughs> How'd we get him? Yeah. Well, he was a baby up at the state fair years ago, and my great grand or my granddaughter uh, saw him there, and uh, when was she was with me, and she went in the stall, and he climbed right up in her lap, and and uh, they said, well, we just got to buy him, so they did, and <laughs> gave for me. <laughs> uh. Well, I think that it it's a historical landmark and it ought to be kept. I don't think that you should tear something down and build something new unless you, you know, unless you have to. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to here. Right. They, do, they don't use uh, this type of architecture anymore and it's a, in this type of material and you don't see it anymore. There's a lot of modern materials and stuff but they aren't any better, they aren't as good probably. There's some beams in this building that you couldn't even buy nowadays. Oh. Well, I've just lived here for a long time and I like it here. <laughs>